Hello and welcome to another edition of Senator Shope's Snapshot of the Week. We come to you this week from the Members Lounge at the Arizona State Senate. A little peek behind the scenes, if you will. Behind the scenes of a major construction project that we can definitely show off a little bit later on before we get into next legislative session. So you can see what you'll uh, be seeing in the, in the brand new year as far as the public having uh, greater access to this building. We want to start off, though, with Hispanic Heritage Month that just kicked off this September. Of course, uh, being of Hispanic heritage like myself, it's a, it's a great time to go ahead and look through the history books of Hispanic Americans doing amazing things here in the state of Arizona. Uh, obviously, we've had governors like Governor Castro, uh, et cetera, and it's the one place. Arizona has always been a, a place for Hispanic Americans to uh, really shine a light. Think of Ed Pastor, think of even my own family with members of it coming from Mexico here to the United States. And in one generation, your son can end up being in leadership of the House of Representatives or in the state Senate. This is a place where miracles happen, where people of very little means can come and make something of themselves and be of service to their entire community. So we'll kick off going into the next segment with businesses in Arizona. As you know, Legislative District 8 has seen a smorgasbord of businesses open up in the last few years, whether it's Lucid Motors or Nikola, Owens Corning bringing in an additional 50 to 75 jobs in their glass recycling plant that they're uh, literally recycling uh, in Eloy with 75 employees. Uh, and now we have a new recycling company, Serba Solutions, bringing in 110 plus jobs into the Eloy area. Get this, they feel as though they can go ahead and take recycled lithium and turn it into 55,000 potential car batteries for electric vehicles. Mind blown, I know, it definitely blew mine uh, for sure. But going forward, we have a obvious big day coming up. And one of my big things that I've been doing, and I did it a couple weeks ago, was reminding you of the registration deadline for this November's election, and that is October 11th. So if you have moved recently, if you're a recently graduated college student, and I would just be impressed that you're actually watching this, uh, if you are, uh, make sure that the new place that you're living at is uh, where your voter registration is. Now, when you uh, maybe got your driver's license, you should have had an option to go ahead and update your voter registration on there, but maybe it's a good opportunity to update that driver's license too, to where your new uh, residence is. Overall, if you're turning 18 by October 11th, or if you've recently moved within state, or you're here from a brand new state coming to Arizona, please make sure that you have all of your documentation ready to go to register to vote by October 11th so you can participate in this November's election. That's pretty much it for today from the Members Lounge here at the State Senate in Phoenix. I look forward to seeing you on our next Senator Shope Snapshot of the Week.